Hello and welcome everyone. In this video we will see how to create a number of boxes within the 3D picture uh, with the different with differentiating its thicknesses so and the number of the boxes we want to create. For that purpose we will create a 3D picture on the front panel in which I will drag it to its change uh, its size uh, requirable and then I will go and create a for loop. After creating a for loop, now I want to create uh, the number of uh, times I want to uh, generate the uh, the boxes basically. So for that purpose, right now I will create uh, a array basically. I will go and create array and put a numeric constant inside it. By putting numeric constant, I will set its different uh, thickness let's say one two and let's say it's three and now i have to select the number of times it will create so i will choose three since i am selecting uh, array of three elements uh, and these array of three elements have the three thicknesses basically so i will add the array elements in which i will use a very simple function which is add array elements and I will connect it with here and then I will I will use an index array function to before using index array function I have to create a scene so for that purpose I will go to 3d pictures and just pin it here and do go to geometries and create a box and then I will go back and create an object so after creating an object scene and I will go up here and copy it right now we are creating a scene outside the loop and then we have to create it again and again so that it will iterate in the loop and then thus we have to create a invoke node basically then going back here and on the application control I will go and create an invoke node in invoke node I will connect it with here set the method to set drawable and then I will now I will connect this box with our drawable and in this box we have to create a if I create visible its label we are creating a box basically so we have to set its x y and z dimensions as well as its colors I will create a constant for the colors and then if I clean up wire I will have to create those X Y and Z but before that we are going to complete our scene object things I will go up here and set its transformation I will set its translation in Y axis so that it will populate in the Y axis every time I change uh, it will go and instead of connecting with drawables I have to set the reference out with this reference and set a control of x y and z but we only want to translate in the y axis so I will create I will create an cluster of bundle element here is the y axis so I will go and delete it and create it create a constant of three elements right now it is defining we are uh, setting its uh, input cluster as my axis y and it is defining that it is the numeric uh, constant basically dbl constants so it will translate in the y axis only because when we finish it you will see it will populate in the y axis so to populate in the y axis now i will use index array function and I will connect it with with this array that I have created and give it iteration of uh, this iteration with the index so that every time the loop iterates it will appear 0, 1, 2 and 3 here and thus we then again go to now I want to set its translation for that purpose I will divide it with 2 which I will make a practice that give me a good results 
so I created a constant of 2 by divisible and then I multiplied it with the iterations basically so that it will give me the thicknesses in the y axis this is the reason I am creating this because it will give me the thicknesses and now if I drag it to elongate it so that I can have a space more to create an object uh, add object and this object have the reference of our first one which is our this reference and then its uh, object is this reference and then we connect the reference out with our this one but it is showing an error because it is automatically generated an auto index tunnel but we will replace it with the last value so after creating last value now it is I hope it is ready to run if I try hitting a run button I can see it is creating nothing uh, so the problems might be with the color or the x y and z axis since we are, have not set the x axis so let's say I will create an x axis of 20 and then the y axis is our changeable since we have to set it with the uh, those thicknesses so I will go and create sorry this is not divided by this and for that purpose I will multiply it with the iterations and get the iteration with this one so that this will give me the thicknesses basically so at each index uh, thickness will be given to the boxes in the y axis and the z axis I set sorry I create a constant of 5 and this will be populating my in the y axis now I try and hit run button I am not getting the requirement exactly what I want so this is because might be the only one uh, object is created in front of me but we can use another thing to set if you choose any of the x y and z but still you are not getting if I say I am creating a one and this is one as well now let's see if I try and hit run button it is creating only one box but I didn't want it it must have to create the three boxes so if I go to the 3d picture and create a invoke node of autofocus I just place it anywhere and then if I try and hit run button now as you can see as three boxes are generated but its length are uh, its uh, thicknesses are much greater so for that purpose I will first uh, clean it the diagram and now I will try to change its thicknesses if I try the x-axis thickness to 20 then let's see what happens it is trying to fix it uh, the twice if I had run twice it is trying to fix it and now as you can see my thickness is x-axis is being larger and the y z-axis is shorter so for z axis I will say I will create a 5 a distance of 5 so like in this way I am creating this so that's how we, you can create the number of if I have to increase the number of the, the boxes then let's say I am creating the box by one I have to change the loop iterations as well so that's how a loop iteration is generating so if you have to constantly change the numbers so you will come up here and put it inside the file loop set it the control and give the uh, uh, loop iteration of almost let's say 500 so that the loop will not iterate maximum time so that's how it is so if we want to change like change it to control change it to change to control and then we have to select it automatically the how many number of array elements are there for that purpose we will go create and property node 
and then there we can find out the number of rows basically the number of rows will select how many times loop should I treat so right now I would say this is my array and if I go and create an array of five elements let's say now I will not go and change any loop iterations so now if I try and hit run button as you can see automatically the five arrays with the uh, with five lines are generated but as you can see still uh, the five thickness on in here is changed to upper direction but we want it in the down direction so what we can do to set this uh, for that purpose I think we can add another method in which we can just uh, rotate its uh, set the scene object as rotation so for that purpose let's just go on the 3d picture <coughs> delete the wire from here and clean the broken errors broken wires and scene object and then we go create object to transformation get rotation uh, set rotation I think so yes that is the case in set rotation I will go up here and connect it with my reference and then I will set the angle of create a constant and angle of let's say minus 0 0.0001 so that it will rotate it and at the angle of and let's say the angle of 3 now if I go and hit run and try button uh, try and hit run button as you can see it giving the angle of 3 degrees with some axis and if I go and try the angle of 1 degree then let's see what happens it is changed it has its position so I will try to make it 4 at 4 it is still on not on the good direction so I will say just say it's 2 on 2 it is changed throughout so I will keep it on 3.33 and that's how you can create uh, your 3d picture with exactly like it is starting from here the view you can change automatically uh, you can set it by yourself so that's how you can create and set uh, the number of uh, the thing the number of basically the boxes uh, you can create another box by uh, setting its size of 2 and now if I try and hit run button as you can see total number of 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 objects are being created with the given thicknesses if I change any of the thickness it will uh, uh, change automatically and it will auto focus on it so that it will be clearly visible to you and that's how you create a 3d object I hope you will like my work thank you